So I was recently asked what do I think the future of skin lightening is going to be and just off the top of my head like I was like lasers like I definitely think it's gonna be lasers um, there are so many different laser treatments for not only like removing hyperpigmentation but like melasma for also removing freckles and most of these lasers like it's even if you're getting like a spot treated it's also lightening the skin underneath too so not to say that like the laser is going to do all of the work for where we are right now some of these lasers you do need to use a topical as well just to like usually like a topical with like a melanin inhibitor to keep you know the area actually lightened but in the future i'm sure you won't even have to use a topical along with the laser and they can just have it to where the laser inhibits the melanin production or maybe takes off the first layer of skin or something like that like i don't know the future looks bright but doing some research into it so that was just like off the top of my head what i was thinking and then like i actually like looked it up just to see what are people really feeling like it's gonna happen like in the future with skin lightening and so we got a lot of stuff about um like for women of course it's gonna be 80 percent of the sales because for toiletries and makeup and things like that in general we make up 80 percent of the sales and in skin lightening right now like the front runners like the ones who are like headlining like their creams serums and lotions and so that's in the toiletry um section so in the u.s alone by like 2031 we're supposed to be have like 1500 billion like over 1500 billion just like in sales and it's just like it's just going to continue like taking over as time goes on because and if you read this um this little article basically they said the same thing that i was thinking as far as when i was thinking about the lasers that there's like a rise in melasma and other skin conditions and so the more we have people who have skin conditions the more people are going to be you know selling things to lighten the skin um it's you know it's a market that's like only growing so you know here we see melasma can be defined as acquired hyperpigmentation um you can get this from genetic predisposition ultraviolet radiation hormonal factors so a lot of people who like coming off of a pregnancy you might have some melasma or even while you're pregnant have some weird spots on your body um or other things that, like throughout your hormones like you can just get these spots everywhere um or you can be on some type of medication so as of right now and like they get into it the you know the popular things to do are like topicals so it's like over-the-counter stuff so of course it's not only people with skin conditions who are using um skin lightening treatments like some people just want brighter skin in general usually brighter skin i think and this is why this industry is only going to continue to grow because having brighter glowier healthier looking skin is a part of the anti-aging like community and anti-aging stuff like it's only like it's exploded just like within the last i would say 30 to 40 years like that entire industry is is doing nothing but like skyrocketing and lightning is a part of that because what happens when you get older you get all these age spots you will get liver spots eight spots like you don't your skin isn't all one color it's not all glowing it's not all smooth so a part of having youthful looking skin younger looking skin is having brighter skin and to have brighter skin you know you're gonna have to use some of these lightening topicals so it doesn't have to necessarily be a, like a heavy duty topical like the type that would like lighten your skin um so like you could use like a vitamin c serum or something like that like a vitamin c serum like even at 10%, like it'll still do some brightening. Now, when you get up to like 30% and like higher, you're getting into lightening territory, but uh, brightening or even lightening your skin, um, that is a part of anti-aging to me because, you know, that's the type of skin that looks the most um, healthy and young and youthful. And so to do that, you can't have any type of spots on your skin. It has to look um, like it's hydrated. It has to look glowy. And so for some people that's going to be whether it's just brightening your skin or going down like a couple shades like it's going to have like a lightening element here are some takeaways from the report that they did and this was published in april of 2021 so this is like the most recent um study but um they say that skin lightening product sales will continue rising especially in the lotion and creams so for right now they're saying that we're just gonna get larger in like the lotions and creams of course i think we're gonna get stronger and better lasers that can basically not only treat the conditions but also just be for people who just want brighter skin all over 
Um, the U.S. has emerged as a highly lucrative market, accounting for over 90% of sales in North America. Um, but also, I think for more, most beauty products, I think the U.S. is like leading anyways. Um, I could be wrong. The presence of some of the leading market players in pushing YOY growth in the U.K. at 3.3%. The expansion of beauty industry will continue fueling sales in Germany and France. Japan will remain an exceedingly lucrative market, accounting for over 50% sales in East Asia. That's interesting because like I would think like skin lightening in Asia would be like bigger, but so also to take into account, they're not only like thinking about just like skin lightening because you have melasma, but skin lightening because you have hyperpigmentation or you have freckles that you want gone or you have like some mole. Um, things like that and and also like the um the anti-aging so they're not really thinking about people who just want to lighten their skin just to lighten their skin because if we were thinking about that then i think um there would be more asian countries and of course there'd be more african countries in here because you know i think aren't those like the places right now that you could go to for like all over body laser treatment i don't know how safe it is the lasers like they've done enough work on the lasers right now to where the technology can accurately give you what you're looking for um without like some type of like really bad side effect but i'm pretty sure that most of the lasers for that are over there so let me know what do you guys think is the future of skin lightening um do you think it's going to be some type of laser treatment or do you think it's just going to continue to be some type of topicals so i just want to say as i'm filming this um the more i'm thinking about it if this really is going to become such like a lucrative um, thing with just everyone needing skin treatments and it's specializing in skin lightening or brightening i think what they're going to do is they're going to start gatekeeping some of our you know our needed supplements so uh, it's gonna i think be harder and harder just in the supply chain or well, you guys could already tell like right now it's kind of hard getting certain products there's limited stock so i foresee some of the prices going up and not only vitamin c but just i guess the big players so arbutin um for glutathione it's not really used in like a cream or a I don't know, like topical glutathione. I talked about this on my Patreon um, and I did a write up in one of our daily um, emails that I feel like it is topical glutathione doesn't work. Like I think it's kind of gimmicky and they're just selling it because people trust the glutathione. So they think, oh, if I put this as a cream, it's going to work. And honestly, there's not a lot of evidence that glutathione topically even is like a significant lightener like there's better things to use that are way cheaper so yeah i think um we're gonna have prices go up on us on a lot of things or just not be able to get it because it's an um i don't want to say it won't be over the counter but they'll make it to where maybe either you have to have a prescription for some of these things and just make it more expensive just overall 